They don't want me to bring you Christ this night. But I have found him, and having found him, I am bringing him whether they approve or disapprove. So, many, many months ago, I had this experience to confirm the 41st chapter of the book of Genesis. For in the book of Genesis we are told that if a dream doubles itself, but then the thing has been fixed by God, and God will shortly bring it to pass. And this is what happened to me. Again, I felt myself move in the spirit and move back in time. Not that far back, 200 years, but only say to the turn of the century. And I found myself in this interior of a palatial home that used to dock the fabric at the turn of the century. These 60, 70, 80 room mansions. As I entered, there were three generations present. One invisible, but he dominated the entire household. The two generations that were visible were discussing this invisible one who they referred to as grandfather. Well, grandfather had this system. He would stand on an empty lot. And while standing on an empty lot, he would say, and paint the most wonderful word picture as he said it, I remember when this was an empty lot. And then he would paint the most fantastic word picture of his desire for that lot. And paint it so vividly that they all saw what he saw and produced in words. It was that concept of life that made a fortune for him. It was that fortune that the two generations were now enjoying. But they didn't know his secret, they only told it as a story. Well, I came back, the whole thing was so vividly impressed upon my mind that I wrote it out. Having written the whole thing out, I returned to bed to redream the entire dream, with one exception. In the second dream, as I entered the mansion, seeing the same people, I was grandfather. And I turned to the two generations present and I would tell them, I remember when this was an empty lot. And then I painted the word picture of my desire for that lot. So I told that story to the audience in LA. I tell it no matter where I go. For it means it is a true vision when the thing is doubled, as told in the 41st of Genesis. So on the strength of that, many now are taking that system as it were, by saying to someone or saying of someone, I remember when they were unemployed. If today they are unemployed, within their mind's eyes, I remember when he was unemployed. If I remember when he was, I am implying he is not now. I remember when he didn't make 10,000 a year. If I say I remember when he didn't make 10,000 a year, I am implying he makes in excess of 10,000 now. If I want to push it up, I can say I remember when he did not make 20,000 a year. That would imply his income is in excess of 20,000 a year. I remember when he was just a weakling. I am implying he is not a weakling any longer. So you can take this technique and apply it to anything in the world. I remember when she was madly in love with one that I disapproved of. I remember when I couldn't even raise the question because she would not listen to me and her father and I disapproved completely, but after all it was her love affair, and so what could I do about it? But I remember when that was a problem, therefore it's no longer a problem. You can take this same attitude towards every problem in the world and bring about the solution. I remember when he had, and you named it, if I remember when he no longer has it. And you can do this with everything in the world. Now this is something that I did not induce. Visions are things you do not sit down and induce at will. No power in the world can sit and induce a vision. A vision to me is truth unmodified by the conceptual mind. You don't rationalize it. You don't sit down and think about it. It just happens. And we are told in the book of Numbers, if there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in vision, and I will speak with him in a dream. For the Lord is not a liar. So if he speaks with you in a dream, but well then listen carefully.